being there. So I welcome you. I am going to start our reading with the prophecy from the book of Isaiah. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered a yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, every warrior's boot used in battle will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forevermore the zeal of the lord almighty will accomplish this let's sing oh come all ye faithful the words are on the back of your programs we're just singing a couple of verses of each hymn so let's start to come forward and light our Advent wreath for us tonight. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him. And without, and without him, him not, not one thing came, came into, into being. being. What has come into being in him was life. And life was life of all people.
Tonight we offer the lights of hope, peace, love, and joy to illumine the coming of Messiah. May all these lights shine in our hearts all year through, for the, for the kingdom of God has come near. And tonight we add the brightest light of all, the light of the newborn Jesus. May this light awaken us to possibilities and lead us to greater hospitality. It shines bright like the star that rose over Bethlehem, inviting all to enter in. of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. The little town of Bethlehem. over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared in the <clears throat> with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom he favors. The first Noel.
gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Angels, we have heard on high. God, as we look over this weary world, we lift our hearts and voices, our hopes and victories to you who has done the impossible, sending your Son, born of a woman and the Holy Spirit, to bring salvation to your people. Let us see, see the light from the star of Bethlehem and reflect it upon those who need Christ's light to lift them out of dark or lonely places. As we turn the corner to a new year, remind us to look and listen for the ways we can house the holy within us so that we may share the holy with our families, friends, neighbors, and strangers. The star that stopped right over the place where Jesus lay still shines behind a canopy. Help us to share the good news of great joy that Christ is the Savior is born anew in us on this oh-so-holy night. Amen. Silent.
Jewish faith has a saying, next year in Jerusalem. So I say to you, next year, inside? <laughs> but this is delightful too, and I'm so thankful. We're all thankful that you came tonight. So I will give you a blessing now. In every Christmas, there is a hallelujah. In every hallelujah, a quiet joy. May the joy of the Lord, the glory of the Son, and the power of the Holy Spirit bless you and yours from this night forward. Amen. Amen. Joy to the world. Christmas, dear friends. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.